Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm at Mumbai airport right now and I'm on my way to Seattle. So this is going to be like a 24 or 26 hour long journey. So I thought to keep myself entertained, I'm going to vlog this entire journey. So I just got to the airport. It's about midnight right now. I'm traveling with a ton of luggage. So I have these two suitcases and this bag. So this is my equipment. This is my luggage and that suitcase is just like stuff that I'm carrying for my brother and my cousin. Uh, so yeah, that's just like food and snacks and Maggie and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm flying a Lufthansa flight and they've booked like a premium economy flight for me. So uh, hopefully there's a separate line for premium economy because I'm looking at the line right now and it looks pretty crowded. So let's go check in. So security check is done, immigration is done, the airport is so crowded right now. It's actually 1.20 am and I still have like an hour to go before my flight starts boarding so I thought uh, I will head to the airport lounge right now but before that let me tell you what this trip is about. So I'm actually going on a work trip with Vistara and you'll see more about it in the next vlog. My work is only for like 2-3 days, it's in Seattle uh, which is a place I've never been to. Also this is not my first time in the US, I've been to the US in 2016 but unfortunately I was not a YouTuber then. So I'm going to Seattle right now and uh, the work is in Seattle but because I'm going all the way to the US and my brother lives there and a lot of my friends live there. So I thought I'll extend my stay and visit all of them and also make a lot of vlogs. My cousin lives in Seattle so after my work I'm extending my trip and like just staying with her in Seattle. Then I'm going to New York to meet one of my friends and then I'm going to Boston to meet my brother and my other friend Kritika. So uh, that's the plan. A lot of people ask me how I get access to airport lounges and I have this card called the Priority Pass which basically gives me access to airport lounges all over the world. So I got this with my credit card but you can also pay and get the service. They have like different levels. So I get unlimited access to most international airport lounges which is amazing. So useful when you're traveling. So I'm inside the airport lounge right now and it's actually really quiet here so I'm sort of speaking very softly. But uh, I got myself a cup of coffee. They also have like free food here so that's awesome and in general it's just like comfortable seating and there's wi-fi and stuff so i find airport lounge is very convenient guys it's only been an hour and i'm already so bored i still have like exactly 24 hours more to go so uh, because i'm flying lufthansa my layover is at frankfurt so my first flight from mumbai to frankfurt is about nine hours long then i think i have a three or four hour layover in frankfurt and then i have like an 11 hour flight to seattle so this is going to be super tiring. Oh my god guys, I was just boarding and you're not going to believe what happened. I was kind of praying this would happen but I have been upgraded to business class. I am so excited. So the last time I got a free upgrade when I was flying to Prague, a lot of you asked me how it happened and to make a video about the whole business class experience. So I thought I'll share a bit of that over here. Firstly, the seats are so amazing and super comfortable. They recline all the way to the back so you actually have a flat bed to sleep on. The screen to watch movies is pretty big. They also give you a blanket, slippers and a pouch with some goodies like an eye mask, some skincare products from L'Occitane, toothbrush, toothpaste and a pair of socks. Coming to the food, it is so good. You have a bunch of options you can choose from and there's a lot of variety. I ended up watching only one movie on the flight because the seat was just too comfortable so I spent most of my time sleeping. Just landed in Frankfurt, last one to deboard the plane but this was honestly the most comfortable flight ever. I didn't even realize how 9 hours went by. Also my next flight is in like 2 hours now so I need to rush and like get through security check and get to my boarding gate. Just got 
got done with security check and that was the most harrowing experience ever. So you walk through the line and give them your boarding pass and everything and then that lady was just like, can you step aside? So I was like, okay, what is happening? And then they were just like, we have to do like special screening for you. So I would have been really scared if I was alone, but there were like other people as well. And then there was like 20 of us, they took us to like this separate line and they literally made me empty my entire bag. It was like some intense security check. I've been to the airport here before. It's never really happened in the past, so I don't know what this was. But anyway, I'm glad I'm done with that now. My boarding gate is like 10 minutes away so I'm just gonna walk to that just me doing touristy things Alright, so at the gate now, I'm a little flustered because of that whole security check experience. But anyway, let's talk about business class now. Honestly, I was a little worried about how I'll do like 9 hours and then 11 hours. But these 9 hours just flew by. It was so comfortable. Everything was so good. And a lot of people asked me last time also when I got a free upgrade that how do you do this? Honestly, I have no idea because I didn't really ask for an upgrade. Uh, they just like randomly gave me the upgrade while I was boarding. The same thing happened last time as well. But I have a couple of theories. First, I feel like if you're part of their rewards program if they have like an empty seat on business class they might just upgrade you that's what happened with me last time i think because i fly emirates a lot and i have like a lot of points i didn't really use the points for an upgrade but i think because they saw like i have a good standing in their reward system they just like gave me a free upgrade and second if you're traveling on your birthday there's a chance they may just give you a free upgrade i was an idiot and i didn't really inform them that it's my birthday so maybe they saw it on my passport and gave it to me i'm also part of like lufthansa's reward point system but i haven't traveled Lufthansa that much so I don't have that many points so I don't think it was the points maybe it was my birthday I don't know or maybe it was just luck anyway whatever the case I'm so glad I got an upgrade it's like a nice birthday gift from the universe or rather from Lufthansa so thanks Lufthansa I don't think I'm gonna be getting an upgrade on the next flight because that's kind of unheard of I don't think they upgrade you twice but fingers crossed well, don't trust what you heard from the bubble dog I've been busting out features on a double tree shuttle also guys I feel kind of emotional about this trip because a couple of years ago when I quit my job and decided to do YouTubing full time I really wanted to do a trip to the US but I couldn't really afford it at that point and I thought to myself that the day I get like a sponsored trip to the US I will feel like I've made it and that has happened now so I don't know this kind of feels like a milestone it's a little stupid because I've obviously done other sponsored trips to other countries and stuff but nonetheless this feels very special and it's also like my birthday in less than 24 hours in fact, according to Indian time, I think it's my birthday in like 11 hours now. So yeah, that's like an added uh, bonus to this. Full-time career, maybe. So no upgrade this time, but let's see what premium economy is like. And I said, Ooh. I'm gonna get a half of the time to move. So I just boarded, we've got some premium economy seats, which are actually quite spacious and nice. And I also ran into Subhash. Hi who is also going on the same work trip with me so that's kind of cool we're all a group of like I think six seven people traveling to Seattle most of them are flying from Delhi but I'm the only one from Mumbai but thankfully we met here so we're going to be spending like the next I think uh, three four days together <laughs> yeah <laughs> Just landed in Seattle and meet Kevin who has kept me amazing company through this flight and uh, also because it's my birthday in India right now he gave me chocolates which is so sweet thank you so much Kevin Only from Belgium the best Yeah the best chocolates thank you No worries Outside and had a free show like don't understand nothing like that Tell me who else really running like that Pass that track let me run it right back Wait let me stay low I ain't standing like that Hold up Oh my god, it's so cold outside and I'm struggling with all my luggage because trolleys are paid here and I didn't really want to pay. So, yeah, just dragging all my stuff now. There's our Uber. Yeah. 
Just checked into my room. I am so tired right now. The time is 3.30 p.m. We landed at 12.30 p.m. So it took us quite a lot of time to like go through immigration and get to our hotel. The hotel is quite close to the airport. It was like a 20 minute drive. But immigration, oh my god, it was like the longest experience I've had because it took us like an hour and a half of standing in line to get through immigration. So that was really annoying and I should have slept more on the flight but I'm an idiot. I ended up watching like three movies and then I also worked for a couple of hours. I was editing a video and uh, yeah, it's actually my birthday right now according to Indian time So happy birthday to me. I turned 27. It's uh, not my birthday in Seattle yet But yeah, a lot of people have already started wishing me and stuff because it's past midnight in India And this is the first time where I'm not in India on my birthday So I'm quite excited about that although I'm kind of alone here So I'm not really doing much, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let me give you a tour of my room This is what it looks like. It's quite a basic room, but quite nice. This is the bed there's like a study area, this is my giant suitcase, this is the other suitcase full of food and then we have the bathroom. Also, I feel like I can't make a video about like traveling and not talk about coronavirus. A lot of people have asked me if it's safe uh, to travel during this time and what precautions to take. Of course, I feel like the threat is very real uh, with coronavirus but I've done like extensive research. I was carrying a mask as well though I feel like 24 hours, 26 hour journey in fact, wearing a mask is just not very comfortable. So I was wearing masks in like super crowded places but I wasn't wearing a mask throughout. But I think the main thing to do is focus on your personal hygiene. So I was washing my hands literally every hour and using sanitizer and stuff and basically not to touch your face because that's how it spreads. Of course you should like do your own research and stuff. I'm no expert on this topic but yeah, wash your hands, don't touch your face and use a lot of sanitizer, that's what I was doing. Anyway, I'm just gonna be heading out for lunch now. Tomorrow is when our official like work stuff starts. So today is just like a chill day. I'm probably gonna meet my cousin as well in the evening. But anyway, super hungry right now. Let's go get some food. So I'm out and about trying to find a place for lunch. There's barely any people here, barely any cars. But the weather is so lovely. I'm not a big fan of the cold and I was kind of dreading the weather here. But it's really nice. I'm actually liking it here. I'm gonna get a half of the town and I'm picking up some water at the pharmacy this whole gallon is for like two dollars today has kind of gone by so fast it's 6 p.m right now after eating i just went to my room freshened up showered and everything and uh, we don't really have anything planned for today we have a dinner at 8 p.m but until then i'm gonna go and meet my cousin so this is like a 15 minute walk my cousin offered to pick me up but uh, I really enjoy walking and I feel like you get to see the city and get a sense of the city so I'm just walking to her place now Hi Kiki, Hi. welcome <laughs> Nila I got you something, you wanna see what I got you? Yes First give me a handshake Handshake? Handshake High five. Give me a kissy. Huh? Give me a kissy. <laughs> Give me a proper kissy. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> oh no no we get loose. <laughs> oh no no. How about you? Hey, how about you? How about run an afternoon? You come on through. We're at Cheesecake Factory for dinner and we have over-ordered, we've ordered so much food and here's the entire gang. Back in my room now, I think this is the sleepiest I have ever been on this channel or uh, the night before my birthday. It's literally... Uh, about to be 11 p.m. right now. My birthday is in an hour and I don't think I'm gonna be staying awake for that because I'm super sleepy. Today has been such a tiring day. Uh, so the evening was really nice. I went to my cousin's house and I chilled with her and her daughter Nila and uh, my cousin's husband and uh, you didn't really see much of them on this channel because I wasn't there for too long but I'm gonna be staying with them for like eight nine days after my work part is over so you'll see more of them on my channel then. Tomorrow is when our work officially starts. We have uh, a bunch 
bunch of things lined up for tomorrow, day after, and then on the day after that as well. So it's going to be like three days of work, and then like I'm just going to be traveling and stuff after that. So there's going to be a ton of US videos. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, press the bell button, also follow me on Instagram because that's where you'll get all the live updates from my trip. Give this video a like, leave a comment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of a raw and casual vlog, and yeah, I suppose happy birthday to me. This is like my first time celebrating my birthday all alone. So. It's kind of a different experience but nonetheless I'm feeling really grateful and positive and also very sleepy so I will see you guys in my next video bye